Uh, it's different out there. That's like, like it's really the gutter for real. Like VA the gutter too. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's like they say it's gutters everywhere, but like I don't know. They're different. Don't write your name across the sky. Give us wings so we can fly. Listen closely when it's quiet. You hear them flowing through the night. The real don't die, but the strong might cry. Had to cut my ties for they write my ties. Hey, what's going on? It's Wesley with Tie Water Waves. Yes, sir. Appreciate you pulling up, man. For sure. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. So, sure. you know, we'll get right into it. Who are you? Where are you from? So I'm Weston. I'm from uh, Portsmouth, Virginia. Or you could say Atlanta. Either one, really. Half, half. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. kind of like grew up in both. Yeah, for sure. Where? Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, which one did you uh, spend the most time in? Like, which one do you resonate with more? Uh, both really. It was more half and half. Spent most of the summers in VA, so, and then every school break I was down here, so it was mm -hmm. a little bit of both. Or dope. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so, you know, how was uh like the different scenes like growing up, you know, in Georgia, Atlanta yeah. versus Virginia? It's way faster down there, and it's I ain't lost a lot of distractions. Like if you don't stay focused, pay attention, you get caught up quick mm -hmm. in anything for real. So, or yeah. I like it a little. It's more smooth than VA, smooth out here type shit. So, yeah. Yeah, just chill. Yeah, chill. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, you know, how does that play into how you um, go about your music? Which one do you take to more? Mm -hmm. or do you do a combination of both? I feel like it's a combination of both. And, like, and I really, I got roots in, like, Mississippi. So, I feel like all just mixing together. And mm -hmm. just, yeah. And that's me for real. Double or, V, Vicksburg, Virginia. You feel or, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, dope. So, you know, so yeah, let's talk about more the Virginia side. Um, how do you like incorporate what you experience? Now, you out here now, um, mm -hmm. just with the scene and everything, like how do you incorporate that into your music? Oh, uh, really just, I guess, words, different words and stuff. Because, like, you know, lingo kind of different in different places. So, stuff like that different experiences in different places everybody can experience what's going on down here in georgia and mm -hmm. vice versa so basically well wow, awesome. okay yeah 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 so when you were in uh, atlanta like you know did you really tap in with the music scene you know and just kind of listen to i guess the music out there uh nah like not particularly atlanta like i grew up off tip so you feel me but like I was more focused on just music in general. Like, if it was good music, I was listening to it. So, it didn't really matter the area to me. Like yeah, stuff. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, you mentioned Tip. Who are some of the other people you listen to? Like, you know, some of your uh, inspirations, I guess you would say, who you pull. So, Wayne, yeah. of course, uh, Outkast a little bit. I was listening to Jay Z from time to time, stuff like that. Kendrick a little bit coming up. So, yeah. Okay. More the old school shit. Yeah, if we so. Yeah. Or, yeah, so let's talk about what you have, you know, and just um, your music and how long you've been doing it. So how long you've been doing the music? Uh, Probably going on four years now. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Bad, okay. So, yeah, how you feel like you've grown um, during the four years, like where you started and what you're doing now? Uh, I feel like I'm more, when I started, like, I was focused, but I won't focus. I was still like, I want to have fun. I want to, you know, still live life a little bit. But now I'm more like, this is a business. Like I gotta, I don't got no choice really. I just, it gotta happen. So yeah, mm. I guess I matured more. So yeah. Or that. So yeah, speaking of that, like maturity, like you say, you, you know, grew in the music, mm -hmm. um, you know, how have you been able to do that with your sound? Uh, like what you, do you study? What's your creative process like? Uh, well, I really try to stay in my own lane. So sometimes, like, if I'm listening to a song or making a song, something like that, like, I won't try to listen to up-and-coming artists. Like, I won't, I try to stay away from their music and focus on me more so I could continue my sound and not sound like other people. Or, so, yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because it's, like, a common theme with artists. It's yeah. like, you know, that really can throw it off because you don't really recognize it. But Yeah, really, so what you Yeah, putting into the music. But, um, sure. so, you know, just outside of like when you're creating, um, you do like listen to other people or yeah. it's just majority. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Like gotcha. I listen to my cousins, 
Neighborhood Three. Um, of course, I listen now. I like Tyson, I listen to Kodak, and uh, YB, of course, Fredo, all them stuff right. like that. Yeah. Or that, so. that. So you know, during these uh, four years, what? Um, have you put out like full projects or is this mostly been uh just singles songs and singles okay yeah gotcha so yeah what's coming your, soon hopefully what's that? i said coming soon hopefully okay yeah, yeah, yeah. go yeah so, now, now's the time yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> yeah everybody on this like digital wave and listening so sure. but um what would you say your uh favorite project is like song wise what uh, you put out don't write your name in the sky right now that's my All newest right. single so yeah gotcha. Uh, but with that, Long Live Cam too. So yeah. Mm, that's the song. That's no, called uh, "Don't Write Your Name in the Sky." Oh, but the it song is. is you know related to the uh, yeah, right. my homeboy Cam. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so, yeah, Word, for sure. sure. Yeah. So, yeah. what was your creative process and um, you know, curating the song? Uh, just really like if I hear a beat and I like it, then first I pray. I can't lie. Before I write anything, I pray. So, anything. Yeah. Anything. Word. So that's basically my creative process right there, honestly. It's mm -hmm. from God, I feel like, so. You just get into it. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's dope. Appreciate you know, got to keep that groundedness. Got to. Yeah, so when you, you know, speaking of that, like being grounded, um, you know, what is your, like, writing process like? Do you just kind of go off of what hits you or do you like to really just have, you know, a curation to the whole song, like the depth and go back and erase, mm -hmm. rewrite things? Uh, I I scan over it like when I finish, I scan over like oh I might change this, might change that. But usually like I'm just freestyling, and if I freestyle, and I hear like oh I like that, then boom I write it on paper, and then I be like how can I change it a little bit? You feel me? And then basically that's it type stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel like you're uh, good at the freestyling, or that's something you do for like mm -hmm. in terms of like in studio, you know, writing mm -hmm. type of thing. I'm more of a writer, but like I enjoy freestyling and help me like get cadences and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah it's catch the vibe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, for sure. So how you feel about features, like, you know, speaking of creating mm -hmm. yourself, working with other people in the studio? I like it, honestly. It's like you get to feed off each other vibe and make them do sound, honestly. So mm -hmm. I mess with it. Yeah. You do many features like, you know, where there's people mm -hmm. out here or anywhere. Uh, not too many now. I'm probably gonna start collabing more, but just right now, the singles. Mm, all right. Yeah. That. So yeah, like you say, you know, the single out now. Um, you know, is that like leading up? Like you say, you know, hopefully soon leading up to a newer, uh, mm. project like a mixtape EP. Uh, probably not. Probably gonna drop one more single before I try to get into that. So, mm. Yeah, with a video. So yeah. Guys, okay. So yeah, and also you know how do you pick who you want to work with producing wise producers? Uh, I try to listen to like songs they produce. Mm -hmm. If it's clear, it sound good, then I might hit them up, go to them. So you open uh, to work with different people. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. No. So yeah. yeah. So you know, producing wise, like, is that something you think you uh, might want to get into in the future? Uh, probably not, honestly. Mm -hmm. Stick with a rapper. Yeah, <laughs> for the most yeah. part. Probably make some beats, maybe, but that's mm. about it. Gotcha, okay. So, you know, so we, yeah, we talked about the producing uh, features. Yes, um, so, like, you know, what is your favorite part of the music? Uh, I would say industry, well, not really industry, but um, just doing music, like, for you personally. So, what's my favorite part of it? Yeah, like, just... Uh, I really just love it. Like I love every part of it. That's why really why I'm doing it. Like I like going to shows. I like writing. I like all of it. Honestly, mm -hmm. there's nothing about it I really don't like. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you ever perform? Yeah. Oh okay. sure. yeah. Yeah. You mentioned shows. Like how you like the just the energy from performing? Yeah, the energy and different stuff like that. Getting my name out there more a little bit. Interacting mm -hmm. with people. Yes. See what they like. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what would you say the main stage for uh, performing that you was like, yeah, that's when I made it. That's that's your goal for performing. Like the main, like where, like venue type um, stuff or? Yeah, venue or shows, yeah. Like I'd probably say if I could do me a show, 
headliner show at the scope or something like that, then I probably feel like I made it. Wow, okay, local. Yeah, yeah, for sure. dope. yeah. So yeah, speaking of local, like Virginia, you um, you know, tap into the music out here. Yeah, a little uh, bit. Okay. Yeah. Sure. How how you feel about the growth of the scene? Just Um, I feel like uh, it's starting to come together a little more. Cause at first I feel like it was a little distant, like between the artists, but I feel like everybody's starting to like to realize we really got talent out here, so might as well use it. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like, you know, that's uh interesting. Cause it's like it's varies on both sides. Like you got some people that say yeah, it's progressive, but then you got the people that kind of pick apart, you know, just what's going on. So sure, yeah. But like you mentioned earlier, Atlantis. Uh, a lot more fast paced, uh, people yeah, are, so. you know, moving out there. So, but, um, yeah. So speaking of that, like where somewhere you want to set up shop, just like, you know, like, like studio wise or which um, one? yeah. Studio, just career lifestyle. Like, all right, this oh. is where I'm telling it right now. I feel Even like if you still moving around. True. I feel like Florida, honestly. Word. Okay. Yeah. I ain't never lived like Miami. There, but Probably like Orlando, so I could still get to Miami. You feel me? I could still come up to Georgia sometimes. Like, yeah, kind of a middle point. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah, dope. Like stuff. Yeah, solid. Not LA. I ain't never <laughs> been, so I couldn't say. Okay, but you been to Orlando? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, work. So, work. Yeah. yeah. Dope, dope vibe out there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh-huh. I just mess with the state of Florida, honestly. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Work. Solid. So, but yeah, you know, also like you know how was uh. Like growing up, do you just kind of with the back and forth uh, traveling, and how do you put that into your music? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little tough growing up, cause like it was really just me and my immediate family, really. So like I was missing my family, like it was just different, honestly. So um, I feel like it helped me like grow as a person, though. It helped me like stand on my own ten feet without nobody, cause we was out there by ourselves basically. So. It just, I feel like it made me a man kind of quick. Mm-hmm. For real. So, yeah. Oh, Lord, okay. So, how do you feel about the resources out here, you know, in Virginia? Um, like you yeah. say, you know, just certain things you had to go through made you a man, um, just tapping into those. Like, how do you feel about the resources right now in terms of helping you? Uh, it's pretty smooth. Uh, like, the family got stuff going. So, like, what do you mean, like music wise? Music wise? Yeah, like studios, just in terms uh, of growing your brand. Oh, uh, true. It's, it's a, it's a, I ain't gonna lie, it's a talent out here for real. Like, you got beat makers, you got nice engineers out here. So, it's, it's a lot of resources, honestly. Mm-hmm. And it ain't as high priced as Georgia. Like in Georgia, they, they gonna tax you for anything. Yeah, for yeah. real. So, so, you ever hit the studio out there? You said, uh, yeah, I used to, but I haven't been uh, recently. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Or, which, well, I feel like I know the uh, answer to this, but like, which one you think you prefer? Yeah, that's a hard one. It is probably out here in VA, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah, so, you know, Virginia, like, I know you say you may find something that, you know, people um, are putting out, like, beat wise and mm-hmm. just kind of see what you want to get on, but. What studios you hit? Um, it's like your go-to's. Oh, uh, I don't really want to put too much information out there, but <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. True. I used to put. I used to go to uh, Radio Ready and stuff. Mess with Jay Bray. He nice mm. though. So yeah. Or right, okay. That's what I'm really trying to lock back in with. Mm. He stopped and stuff. So. Gotcha. Hopefully, yeah. So if you were to put out a project, we think you would have multiple producers or want to work with one person that just produces the whole thing. Probably like multiple, probably two or three, depending on how many songs. So mm-hmm. different sounds to test it out, see who, uh, who like who best fit me and who I best fit them type stuff. So gotcha. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. So with the yeah, you know, with the production of the album comes like you know, like you say, you got to find the right people to get on it. Features. Yeah. Um, would you have like try to get features for your first project, or would you just try to, you know, just keep mm-hmm. it in house with you? I probably try to get features. I probably try to get some of my cousins type stuff, and then try to like, and then like probably some industry people too. So, mm. got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. So, who are some of the industry people you would, you know, like want to mm. work with? What's your like? I guess top three or whoever you want to name. 
Top three for right now. Ooh, that's I I I'll probably have to do four type stuff. <laughs> All right, yeah, do four or five, whatever. Uh I'll say Kodak for sure. Slime like Shoddy, shout out him. He a real one. Um Fredo and YB. So yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Or, so you know those people like um is those people like you kind of pull inspiration from in terms of like all right because i know you mentioned like florida yeah yeah that down south vibe is for so or dope dope so b also i want to talk more about the music uh you mentioned um what you have out now like what are some of the things the viewers can expect uh coming through you know like with these last few months of the year what you working on you know, i'm working with single right now that should drop pretty soon get a video for it going and then you see where I'm at after that. All right. So, yeah. How important is the video production to you? It's pretty important because people like, sometimes people actually want to see like what's going on, like want to see your vision. So I feel like that helps people see what, what you really mean. Cause sometimes lyrics could get misconstrued and stuff. So mm. I feel like it just helped in that aspect. Mm. Or yeah. Sure. No. So, you know, with the music you're doing now, it's like, are you like figuring you want to, you know, stay in one lane? Like, do you ever venture off into other types of? Uh, a little bit of both. Like, mm-hmm. my earlier songs, I dabbed a little bit, like singing type stuff. So, like, but I, I mainly want to focus on, like, just rapping right now. And, yeah, I might write some stuff for somebody, like, melodized type stuff, but. For mm. myself, I'd rather focus on just rapping, rapping. You said like, write something for what, somebody? Yeah. Oh, so you like write as well for other people? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, dope. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's like an un... I mean, you never know because it's called ghostwriting, but like an untapped industry, people don't really talk about it. Yeah, true that. You know? Yeah, but I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like you got that ability. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, also, um, you know, just talking about just moving around, um, how you feel about like touring is that something you you know of course whenever it fits but like want to get into like could you see yourself you know just traveling moving around that way yeah i feel like it was part of my life growing up so like why not make money from it so, true yeah, yeah definitely with that okay so, so yeah would you you know would you sign uh yeah i would if the money was right and like probably if i could keep my masters uh, That'd probably be the only way. Yeah, the situation details had to be. Yeah. Or got to be nice. Yeah, is there somebody like, you know, or do you pay attention to the labels now or whoever you feel like you want to tap in with? Uh, Not really, nah. Uh, I just, boy, so focused on what artists say, like, don't do this, don't do that, or do this, do that. Do your so, own research. Yeah. Gotcha. That's See, true. you can really sign yourself. You right though, yeah. Yeah, True. stay independent, yeah. True that, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, is that something you, you know, interested in at all? Um, mm-hmm. or like think about when doing the music, like, all right, let me just you know, you say keep your royalties and all that. Um, but you know, just like I wanna do this and set it up my own way. mainly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like right now, most of the songs I can't get royalties from because uh like they were like remade beats type stuff, like Boosie set it off, G mm-hmm. Herbo, Name in the Sky, stuff like that. So I can't really get royalties off that. But so right now my main focus is just producing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. just doing the music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like that's what it is, you know, just just like you uh I know you know currency. You mm-hmm. listen yeah. to him? Okay, yeah. A little bit. I, a little snoot, like he kinda I was on him before Lil Snoop, but he kind of made me listen a little more. Got so. you that New Orleans, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Next thing, yeah, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, he puts out like just, just mixtape after mixtape. Um, but yeah, I feel like like you were saying, just putting music out, just however, it's dab it up at the beginning and then get into, yeah, you know, exactly. picking your beats and all that. Um, but you know, so do you have like a management or support system? Uh, I I say I got support system, but management nah. Okay. Yeah. Or how important yeah. is that support system to you? It's very important, honestly, because like they kind of keep you going, keep you focused. So, mm. gotta have them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, speaking of staying focused, how have you been able to stay focused during the pandemic and just this whole past year and a half? It's been really easy because the pandemic. Like, 
at when it first started happening, everybody wasn't trying to go out. Everybody was scared and stuff. So it gave me more time to focus. Now people like, let's do this, let's do that. Like, mm, it's just like, <laughs> I'm, st- I'm still trying to stay focused. But mm. yeah. Yeah, just kind of, you know, stay on that track. Uh, gave everybody like a reset. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, so. beyond, yeah, beyond that, like how important have they played a part in terms of like this past year and just making them leaps uh, with the music? Uh, they've been very important. Like I had some outside stuff going on, so like they've been helping me do that, praying for me and stuff. So yeah, they just it just keeping me up in spirit type stuff. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's the main thing. So yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. How you feel about the industry? Like you feel like you'd be one of those people that you know get involved um, just with. Uh, like social media, like create, like try to put yourself out there. When you do the music, you kind of stay in the cut, which you feel like. Uh, I feel like I'm a mixture. Like, cause when I first started, like I was like, I don't know if I really want to show face too much. Cause honestly, it's a danger. I just mm-hmm. said rapping the most dangerous job. So it's like, now I don't really like, I ain't gonna say I don't care, but it's like, God got me. So mm-hmm. I ain't really tripping by nothing. Yeah. So, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, could you see yourself getting involved with, um, in terms of like where social media is going, you mm-hmm. know, you like trying to get involved with like TikTok and all that type of stuff, promote yeah. music. Yeah. Uh, okay. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Is that something you're just on right now? Like, uh, I'm mainly on Instagram and Twitter. I don't got a TikTok right now. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I try to work with people from all different platforms. Oh, all right, so, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like a way to, you know, really yeah. connect different audiences. But yeah, so you said, um, you know, just the down south vibe, Mississippi, you're from Mississippi, right? Yeah, part of it. Or so, so yeah, how, how was it out there? Uh, it's different out there. That's like, like it's really the gutter for real. Like we ain't the gutter too. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's like they say, it's gutters everywhere. But like, I don't know, out there different. Like it's a little like how they say it's no police in Baton Rouge. Like it's basically like that out there. They be out there, but they don't really care about nothing. So you do anything, most of the time they don't care. Mm. Yeah, unless they just catch you doing it type stuff. So gotcha. yeah, it's it's different. It's like the Wild West out there, honestly. Yeah, I would bet that yeah, down south is a whole different area. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, deep it's down different. south. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 It's so you deep. go back and like visit, um Yeah. Right now I'm not allowed to go into my city, so Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Or, guys, okay. So yeah, with you know that being in uh, effect, like you know, how are you approaching like just you know going back and just the the love for the you, you got for that area? Oh, uh, I'm trying to see how I can make my way back. Hopefully, I should be able to go back soon. But I'm gonna have to maneuver a little maneuver, different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. As long as you're playing it secure. Yeah, yeah. True that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, which one do you prefer? Like out of you know, we talk about Mississippi, Atlanta, Virginia. Uh, you said which one? Like, do I prefer? Yeah, it just depends on my mood. Cause like, I I probably out of like, chilling wise, I probably like VA out of at the most. But of course, I got family in Mississippi, so it's like, like I love like you feel me? I love going out there type stuff. So I like all of it for real. Mm. It's just out there, it could get a little dangerous. It's just like, there ain't no environment like that you just want to be in 24-7 because it'll corrupt your mind. Mm-hmm. So most right. of the time, the people that can get out there, they leave as soon as possible type stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So you felt like you put that into your music, like take from, you know, where do you pull from? I, I think I pull from there a little bit. I pull from everywhere, honestly. I may mm-hmm, from all mm-hmm. aspects, for real. Or dope. Yeah. Yeah, solid. So yeah, I see that like kind of down south violate like, talking about setting up in uh Florida. Yeah. So for sure. yeah, dope, dope. But also in terms of like performing, um, you know, like how do you feel like like you're saying it's kinda of not safe? Would you perform down there? Would you have to go ahead? Like in my city personally, yeah, I'll I'll perform my city, yeah. Yeah, I'll perform down there, honestly, yeah. Mm. I just make sure I just move smart for yeah. real. Yeah. Move the right way. Yeah, got to. Yeah, man, that's dope. Um, talk about you know performing, uh, where you was sure. from and all that. So you know, just keep us updated with uh, you know, like you say, you got a project out now. 
So, uh, more projects, what a single, more projects coming. So, keep us updated. For sure. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, you know, where can the people find you as well? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Wesson, W E S S O N underscore V V, you feel me? Double V, Pittsburgh, Virginia. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Wesson757. And my YouTube is Wesson Williams. So, yeah, that's right. where I'm at right now. Solid. So, yeah, we got Wesson. Appreciate you pulling up. Appreciate you for real. Yeah. And we out. My time, so don't leave me alone. Did my pop out.